An Introduction to Beams Controller Logic Simulation During this presentation, we will cover the simulation mode available with the Focus Engineering software. The standalone simulation mode allows you to fully test the controller's configured logic without the requirement of additional software or hardware, providing real-time logic functionality which can save valuable commissioning time upon site installation. We will see how to add inspectors to block output nodes and configure the available simulation options. Simulation block properties will also be covered and how they can be used to test your logic flow. Also described is how to connect the focus simulation session to a local ICOM communication server, which can be used to provide the simulated controller as a live device for additional testing and pre-commissioning in your projects in Beam's application software such as Magellan or Facility Manager. Simulation allows you to test a complete controller logic flow and function during the design phase of the controller's configuration, including user adjustments and logic functions. Parameters are available for input and output blocks to simulate functions such as a digital status or temperature sensor values, in addition to simulating fault conditions on the programmable UIO points and logic areas of the configuration. We can also add inspectors to the block nodes to view the live values in various areas within the configuration during runtime. During the session, you also have the option to pause the configuration to modify and tweak the design to further test the logic flow and functionality. This is all provided within the Focus Engineering software, as we'll soon discover. During your configuration workflow, you have the option to simulate and test the control logic directly within the Focus programming software. This feature can be used to your advantage to test and alter logic tasks prior to site implementation and commissioning, which can save valuable engineering time. To access the simulator mode, ensure the device is selected in the network list, then click the simulation menu on the main toolbar. The ribbon changes to display the simulation options. To begin the simulation, click the Run button. You will notice that the device's and blocks panel is greyed out and the canvas background changes colour. The simulation run icon adjacent to the device resource monitor is displayed, indicating that this device is currently in a simulation session. The zoom and pan options are available, allowing you to move to various areas of the configuration. To add an inspector to a blocked node, select the add button or press the keyboard spacebar to change the mouse cursor between the select and add modes. You can add the inspectors to any blocks in the configuration. The inspectors can be moved to any location on the page as desired to keep a clear view of the configuration. In this example, the fan fault is active as the fan status is off and the control enable for the fan is on, essentially confirming this segment of the logic is working as intended. Clicking on any block using the Select tool opens a Properties panel. You can make block changes as required during the simulation session. If I click on the Fan Status input, you'll notice that there is a Simulation Properties section added to the Properties panel. You have the option to set the input to an ON state to simulate an active fan status. In turn, this clears the fan fault. The simulation parameters are also available for a sensor input. The parameters can be configured to provide a temperature simulation to test the connected logic. We can add a graph to the inspectors by clicking the graph icon within the inspector. The graph can be made larger by clicking the expand and contract button. Moving the mouse within the trend, the simulated value is displayed in the lower corner of the inspector. The session can be paused at any time by clicking the pause button. If you start the session again, all the inspectors are retained. While the session is paused, you are able to make any logic changes to the configuration, including block additions and line changes. Once complete, clicking the run button resumes the simulation with config additions or alterations in play, allowing you to further test the changes made. If you press the stop button, you have the option to keep all changes that have been implemented during the simulation session, 
or revert to the state prior to starting the simulation session. If you select revert, all changes including config alterations will not be saved and the config reverts back to the original state. Selecting keep maintains all changes including any config logic additions or alterations. The simulation session can be connected to the ICOM communication server if required via a focus simulator connection. The first item to check is a network ID within Focus. Simply click on the network, in this case the BACnet network, and locate the connection ID assigned. In my case the ID is 3. Also check the Initech device address of the Omni controller. This is required for the ICOM connection properties. In ICOM server, add a new Focus Simulator connection if one does not exist, or edit the existing connection and check the address items. Note that a standard simulator connection will not work with focus, so be sure to add the correct type. Both the protocol settings address and the network ID number will need to be correctly configured to successfully connect to focus. Click OK to save any changes made. Back in focus, enter simulation mode and run the session. Click the connect button to connect focus to the ICOM simulator connection. In ICOM server, you should see the device under the focus simulator connection. This device can be used just like any other device for testing projects and Beam's application software such as Magellan or Facility Manager as examples. To simulate multiple devices on the network, simply make sure that all devices added to the network have a unique Initech address and are running in a simulation session. In ICOM Server, Edit the focus simulation connection and change the last device address to suit the network. In my case, the end device will be 4. After clicking OK, all devices should be listed under the connection, allowing further testing with a Magellan or Facility Manager project. Once testing is complete, ensure that the Initech device address on each Omni is returned back to the default of 1 or as required for your project. In summary, simulation offers a valuable resource during your configuration design workflow. Simulation parameters are available for inputs and outputs, in addition to modifying block parameters in real time, providing the ability to generate real world values for testing and pre-commissioning prior to site installation. Inspectors can be added to block nodes to check and view values during the testing phase of your project. Focus can connect to the local ICOM communication server to provide a live device for testing and other Initech Beams applications.